Hey everybody, thanks for wandering back out to the Digital Hermitage. I'm the Hermit, you can call me Hiccup, and thanks again for joining me for my small land adventures. It started snowing. I don't know I don't know exactly when this started. I've been playing a little bit off camera, just gathering. I've gathered so much bark and we'll show off all the material here in a while. But uh man, the, the seasons are apparently changing. The leaves have all fallen off. I think I am somewhere in the early or midwinter at this point. Um because I did play a few days in game. Um, we do have another ankles. This is ankles four. We lost uh, ankles three <laughs> between last episode and this one. Um, it was another river accident. We jumped right into the water like a fool. But anyway, I'm thinking of going and looking around today. Um, I want to go tr try and climb this giant tree over here. I've been getting a lot of comments about that, so we'll go up there and check that out. Um, also, I want to try and make some healing potions today. We might go and try and do battle with the rhino beetle. Or try and make some of that regal armor, but I found that it's so cold out here lately, this is the only armor I can wear, which is the padded armor. Um, and it's actually serving me pretty well. Not as much protection as we're used to, so I have to be a little careful. Um, but the cold protection is undeniable, and we really do need it to, to just exist out here right now. Um, and then we might go looking for some silk. I don't know. Yeah, maybe we'll go. I think we're going to go looking for silk rather than go down there and try to challenge the beetle today uh what's gonna try and make a potion or two maybe 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 we'll, we'll see we'll see we'll see what we need there um but we've got our wraps uh god let me let me try and fix this these tools up real quick and maybe make another meal or two well, i guess i could i could bring you through the inventory too so we have a ton of stuff right now um i have gathered up a bunch of crap between last episode and this episode i think we need um yeah, 40 insect for their petals. I think we did need petals for the potion too, actually. Uh, 27 bone. We're going to try and make a, possibly make the primal armor today because I have been hunting uh, gecko down there. Um, died of, died of, I really only died uh, jumping around with the cricket. Um, I think there was one death where we had to fight two geckos at once and it went bad. <laughs> but uh, it was just a bunch of grinding off camera, just trying to get a bunch of this stuff ready. Uh, yeah, 21 of that hide. We're doing really good in there. Um, also, ran around and collected a bunch of blackberries. We actually had, well, I don't know now. It's winter, um, but I had a bunch of them. Oh, you can still kind of see them. Look at them. Yeah, they do still fall. So there's a bunch of them up here, and then there's a bunch of them. Uh, let me pull up the map. There's a bunch of them up here right there. Yeah, blackberry bush. We, we marked that one. So I've been running up there collecting a bunch of that, and if you use that in the honey, you can actually make these nice little... Uh, nice little treats that I've been kind of saving up for episodes. These, uh, no, it's not the fey chowder, the blackberry jam. Yeah, that looks pretty good. There's all our other ar armor. We are going to need that nectar. Uh, yeah, can't really, uh, all of that armor is completely ineffective right now. It's so cold up here. We can't do anything else. Oh, look at all that bark. Yeah. Okay, I think that's what we need for the potions. Pretty cool. Let's see if we can make one. Oh, we can make a health elixir. Oh, it is better. Well, why would you make the lesser one? They cost almost the same. Oh, it takes two nectar for the health elixir. All right, so it's a little more expensive. Well, I'm going to go ahead with the better health potion. Go ahead and make five of those. Let's go empty the inventory. Nice to have those. Hey, look, when did the... Uh, is this new? When did the, uh, when did the hot bar be, uh, get extended to ten? Crazy. Or am I just, am I being silly? Has it always been like that? I don't know. <laughs> I've never used the 9 or 10. All right, let me take a look in here, because I think we did have what we need to make the primal armor, which looked pretty cool. And the cold protect, that's right, that's why I was interested in it, because the cold protection is actually on par. Yeah, cold protection 9, cold protection 9. Yeah, it's on par with our padded armor, but it also gives us much more protection, almost on par with the... Um, with the stone face uh, mask over here. So I'm actually, I think we're gonna try and make this real quick before we set out on our adventure. I just wanna say something before I make it though. I, when summer comes around, I want this to be too hot. Like when winter passes and summer comes around, I will be genuinely upset if this armor doesn't overheat us. Like it better, I hope that's a thing. I want it to be a thing. All right, anyway, what do we need? Um, we need Bones, hide, and fur. Well, we've got plenty of that hanging out. Let's gather what we have. <laughs> oh, it's, it's around here somewhere. <laughs> there it is. 21 hide. All right. Let's do this. Leggings. Chest piece. 
And these arms. Ooh, we did it. I think we did it. I think we got it. Let's go ahead and drop all the goods off back in here. Oh, we did. Oh, okay. That's awesome. I'm so excited. Let's let's try this on and see how it looks. Oh no, I need another chest for uh for armors now. <laughs> go that's the stone armor or the padded armor with the stone mask right and then I need to find some place for these it's fine that'll work all right armor up oh very cool bone leather and fur that's pretty awesome and we're still warm outside <laughs> I love all the different armors. The aesthetic is so different for each one. That really feels cool. Oh yeah, feeling tough. Feeling tough. Alright, new armor. New healing potions. Oh yeah, I was going to fix the pick real quick. Got to do that. There we go. And I think we've got enough food for now. Actually, we can grab some more. I did pre-cook a bunch of crap. Here we go. There we go. Alright. Well, now it's nighttime. Let's get some sleep and we'll set out in the morning. Lots of cool stuff, though. Look at all this stuff we got. New armor, new everything. That's pretty cool. Oh, look at that. It's daytime. Oh, man. <laughs> that happens so quickly. Is that a storm? I don't know. I'm going to hope it's not a storm. Let's go start the day by trying to climb this tree. Ha! Yeah, this big one. Had a lot of comments, a lot of encouragement. Let's go check it out today. I do remember running into... Yeah, there it is. There's that platform. I was going to see if we could get the grasshopper up there. Uh-oh. Let's go ahead and give ankles a level if we can. Oh, speaking of levels, that's something else we have to do. Get out of here, bugs. Oh, there we go. Very cool. All right, we're going to try and leave Ankles here and go climbing. I think Ankles is going to be way too tricky to get up there. And obviously, this is some kind of trail. I definitely want to see where it leads. Yeah, what was this? I think we read this last time. The spirit of the great tree is listening. I want to claim this tree and move my tree and camp me here. What does that even mean? Move my tree encampment. Let's, uh, I guess it's a base up top or maybe another settlement. Let's go check it out. Let's make sure Cricket's not... Yeah, you stay here. We'll come back down to get you. Let's start the climb. I think it'll be easier to climb without him. Probably take a little parkour, but we've got the wings, so even if we fall, I think we'll be okay. And yeah, I think climbing up this with the Cricket would be really difficult. Maybe there's another kind of creature we can get that literally cr climbs. Can you, can you like, ride a spider? Can they... Yeah! Can they, can they just climb the side of the tree for you? That'd be pretty cool. Nice! Oh, I forgot about the... The ledge grab. Ledge... <laughs> I forgot about the ledge grab that they do. Words. What are words? Yeah. yeah, don't go floating off. Okay, here we go. Yeah, wow, we're going up and up and up. Oh man, building houses on the edge of these branches could be pretty cool. Yeah, there we go. Oh my gosh. How high up are we going to go? This is crazy. Why does that look like the same tree? How many different... These, there are a lot of trees with mushrooms that are... Why are there so many? There's one right there. Are they all like this? Why are there so many? <laughs> Man, where are we going? Oh yeah, I totally got sidetracked by the tree again. Uh, levels, I was talking about ankles and his levels. You know, actually, we haven't used any of our attribute points in so long. I have 30 attribute points to spend. We should probably go ahead and use these. Um, <laughs> or we could save them. We'll save them for a little while longer. What do you think we should save them up to? We should get like 60 attribute points maybe, or 
A hundred. Thirty's probably not bad. I bet we could really we could buff up a little bit with thirty, but I don't know. We'll save it for next episode, maybe. <laughs> oh, he didn't grab the ledge. Come on. You can do it, little dude. There we go. Alright, alright, I got this. Here we go. Oh, nope, oh, come on. I think we're almost at the top. Whoa, wait a minute, look at that. Is that an airship? Why does that look like some kind of blimp? Some kind of like aerial aeronaut blimp thing. Okay, now I'm intrigued. <laughs> what is going on up here? Yeah, look at this. What is that? What? Well, hello, sir. Who are you? Tree Butler. What? Welcome to the Great Tree, Vanguard. You claim this tree and make it yours if you want. How can I claim this tree? All I need to do is examine the gnome effigy. Okay, so this will be the same. That's it? So you just claim this and make it your own? Oh, wow, look at that. It's like a very, very flat surface to build on. Why does it always got to be flat, man? I like building in the into the environment. Wait a minute. There's a... Okay. Okay, I think, I think I understand. I think it's been made clear to me. I'm actually pretty sure one or two people have actually told me. <laughs> so I'm supposed to build my house up here, and then you can just shuffle it around between nearby trees, because I can definitely see the butler blimp out there. I don't know, guys. I don't know about this. Take all this with a grain of salt, but I really don't like that idea. I don't like the idea of being able to build somewhere and then just transport it everywhere with me. Like, Fallout 76 was fun, and it had something similar of an idea, but I, I just, I don't know. This world is not that, it doesn't feel huge. Um, I mean, I'm sure I barely begin to, exp I, I, I haven't explored a lot yet, but do you know how quickly we can get from Scotty to Drustana? on that cricket like that really changes everything the steeds the mounts like that's that's a lot of fun that provides a lot of movement and mobility plus i don't like building on just perfectly flat surfaces it really just kind of it gives you a lot of space i guess but at the same time like i prefer to build into the environment get a couple of levels going i don't know i think we're gonna leave these trees behind they seem all right but i don't think i'll be building up here or claiming any of them <laughs> and i i don't know the the thought of just moving my base around, too, is really kind of funny. All right, let's try these wings out. Okay, they do eat up a little stamina. Nice. That went well. <laughs> oh, oh, these wings are awesome. This is the first time I've really put them to good use like this. This is amazing. That's too fun. I always love wingsuits. How cool. Oh, how awesome is this? Well, the trees are pretty cool. And if you want to go ahead and build your bases up there, now you know where to look for them. I guess there's a bunch. Look at how many there are. There's one there, there's one there, there's one there. Like, literally how many can we see from here? One, two, three, four, five. I want to say that's one in the distance, but I could be mistaken. So let's just go with five. Wait. Six? I guess that's definitely one. Six from here? Like, how many do you need? <laughs> Wait, there's one right behind this one, too. So there's a seventh one. Like, really? I, I don't know. That's not... Is that, that's a... Nah. Nah. We can carry so much inventory anyway. We're not gonna... We're not gonna do that. We're not gonna bother with that. All right. Next on the list was... Silk, I believe. We're gonna go get us some silk. Uh-oh. Didn't really want to fight the bees. So let's just keep moving, shall we? I feel really disoriented now that it's winter. Um, I was really getting used to the way everything looked, you know, in the spring and the fall and everything, but like now that it's winter, even the environment is, is a little like, where am I? Look at how fast we got back here. I mean, and this is like the first one. We I guess we should have been climbing this one. Look at how many there are. There are too many. That's ridiculous. They're not even spaced that far apart. Maybe on foot they're kind of distant, but I don't, I don't know. I'll stop talking about it. All right, and we're heading back toward the blueberry bush, back toward Drustana, 
this wall right here actually is where I know that there are spiders, so we're trying to get back over there. There's the river. Let's go ahead and make a great leap. Yeah, ankles. Man, the crickets are awesome. Our grasshopper. I keep calling it a cricket. Forgive me. We have cricket problem in my house, and uh, we hate them. <laughs> yeah, anyway, I just, I don't know. I'm used to shouting cricket, not grasshopper. <laughs> Oh, are those the blackberry bushes? They're like super... Oh, yeah, it is. They're like super obvious in the winter. Wow, that's funny. Whoa, that is a building. That's like a straight up... That looks like a church or a cathedral of some kind. Man, I kind of want to go check that out. But we're so close. Let's Let's try and find some spiders. I'm going to feel pretty tough in this armor, too. I don't feel like fighting you, Beetle. We're looking for spiders. That looks like a bull ant, though. Yeah, we don't want to mess with him. Not interested in that fight. Although we might want to grab some of this honey out here. All right, ankles, follow me. We're going in. The spiders make the weirdest noises. Oh crap, there's two. I don't want two of them. Oh yeah, here we go, battle time. Ow! Whew. Man, the timing for that is really weird. Because their leap is so dramatic. Let's have a potion. Let's have a potion. Can I have a potion, please? Zero. Hit the potion. Why is he not eating the potion? Oh, gosh. Come on. Thank you. Ah, oh, leave ankles alone. Ankles! Hang in there, ankles! Whew. Okay. Eat all the lymph nodes, buddy. Yeah, feel better. Not lymph nodes. What are they again? <laughs> I forget what they're called. Bug lymph. All right, so it is a lymph, yeah. Yes, yeah, zero's not working. That's fine. But jeez wheeze. Oh, he's going to go after ankles. Is he going to attack? Yeah, all oh, that leap is so unpredictable. Ow! There it is. Oh, he's fleeing. He's fleeing. No, you don't. No, you don't. Oh, come on, stamina. There we go. Whoo. All right, how you doing, Ankles? Ankles looks all right. Everybody's doing okay. All right. Now we're looking, I think, we're, I think we're looking for little egg... egg sacks or something. We have the shears, right? I brought them with me. Yes. Specifically used for cutting open spider cocoons. So where are the spider cocoons? Huh. Well. In that case, yeah, no spider cocoons on the side or anything. Ooh, that looks like a big bad wasp. I don't want to fight another queen wasp. Not with ankles nearby. Has ankles gotten a level yet? Ankles, where are you going? What are you doing? Okay, jeez wheeze. Yeah, ankles has some levels. I've mostly just been giving ankles health. Um, stamina's pretty awesome. Not really worried about damage. Huh, okay. Well, darn. Silly spiders. Let's hop around a little bit. We'll keep an eye out for spiders, but let's go adventuring a little more. Or should we go back and fight the rhino beetle? Because that's pretty tempting. <laughs> I think we could do it. I bet we could. Whoa, look at it. 
it out there. Oh yeah! I saw this at a distance, but we've never actually come over here. Let's take a look. I'm gonna gather some of this honey crumble too. We need some more of that for better healing. What is this? Why does that look... Need spike pickaxe or better to harvest clay? Oh, okay. Clay. Interesting. Well, now we know where that is. Oh, well, there's lots of it out here, too. Okay. Whoa. <laughs> part of me wants to try and make the leap with ankles. Like, part of me really wants to try. <laughs> I don't know if we'd make it, but it would be awesome to see if we could. <laughs> Spiders, spiders, spiders. You know that cathedral thing we saw off in the distance might not be a bad place to check, right? Get inside the building, see if any of the spiders have made any webs in there. Man. It's going to be hard to give up the grasshopper for any other steed. This thing's mobility is, like, amazing. Unless we can get a butterfly. Oh my gosh, can we tame a butterfly? Hey, there's the owl. Ah, okay, so yeah, we must be... There it is, that's what I was looking for. Let's go check that out real quick. And if we don't find any spiders over there, then we may go fight the rhino beetle, because I'm, I'm feeling pretty tough in the armor. The flint gear feels pretty good. I feel like the rhino beetle is like the first of a succession of bosses, so I feel like we probably have what we need to fight it. Whoa, going to some tall grass there. Ooh, look at all this out here. Look at that lantern hanging. Oh, that's so cool. There's so many little ambient things in this. Can we even get out there to that building? I don't know if we can. Oh, it kind of looks like we can. Ooh, two, two big beetles. Hop, hop. There we go. <laughs> I don't want to check the map and see where we are. Oh, wow, we're way out here. Oh, I think we can go to it. All right, let's be careful around the water here. Very careful around the water. Whoa, look at that monster. Uh-oh. Does it want to fight? Oh, my gosh, I think it does, and I don't know if we're ready for it. Oh, it looks big and big and bad. Oh, uh, yeah, here we go. Oh, we've got this. Oh, careful, careful, careful. Heck yeah, ankles, back me up. <laughs> oh, no, you don't. This is a good spot we chose. Nice shot. Oh, stamina, stamina, stamina. Ankles, don't get in my way, please. Nice. Get him over some solid ground. There we go. Just like there. Uh, good. Woo. We did it. We did it. Nice. Insect wings all over the place. All right. Now then, we just need to make this leap. I'm going to do a super leap. I have faith that we'll be okay. Here we go. Oh, all right. Yeah, we're good. We're good. We did it. Oh, man. More aggressive dragonflies. Okay. That's intimidating. Those look big enough to fly. Can we get a dragonfly steed? That would be epic. Wow. Oh, that's a queen wasp or something. I don't know. That's much tougher. I feel like we're probably somewhere we shouldn't be yet. <laughs> Man, that thing looks mean. Whoa, that is much bigger than a gecko. Yeah, you know what? Oh, gosh. Super leap. <laughs> We're just sneaking around. Sneaky, sneaky. Let's do some scouting. <laughs> 
Oh wow, look at these flowers. I bet they drop a ton of petals. I don't know why I'm so convinced we're gonna find spiders around this building, but I am. Oh, no, 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 no. Oh, crap. Well, I think we're gonna find out what that is pretty soon. Nope. Nope, didn't come after us. Good, good, good. Okay, we're okay. Everything's fine. Everything's fine. We're gonna try this jump again. Ah, oh, no good. Let's get back a little more. Oh, come on, land on the ledge. There we go. Nicely done. Just a bunch of clay up here still. No spiders or anything. Oh, there's more of that. What is that? I don't want to know. Alright, I don't know. I'm not seeing bees, but it's getting dark out. We might want to hightail it back out of here, because this is, this is pretty intimidating out here. It's so cool, though. Alright, let's go take a look. Might get ourselves in trouble, but I'm too excited. Oh my gosh, you almost need a cricket. Wow, how cool is this? Beautiful. Yeah, let's get over there. Man, that is a big lizard. What is this? We landed right in the middle of an aloe plant. Awesome. <laughs> oh, it's getting dark. Are we going to get cold? We might get cold. That could be an issue. Whoa, do you see all those mushrooms over there? It's like way too many. All grouped up together. That looks crazy. Alright, it still says we're comfortable. I'm not feeling the effects of the weather yet, so we're going to keep looking around. Whoa, I don't know what those are, but we're going to try and hop over them in all this water. Here we go. <gasps> no! Okay, this almost feels and looks like water, and we're going to get out of here because now we've been spotted. Here we go. Fleeing for our lives. <laughs> I don't know what any of that is. It's just a bunch of bees. This is a bee central. We need to get out of here. All right. Yeah, the quest for spiders out here is over. Uh, I don't see them. I don't hear them. And we are seriously at risk, I think. Ankles, it's a good thing you don't take fall damage. There we go. All right. Got to be gentle on our way back over. We do not want to end up in the river. Uh, oh man, that was close. Whoa, big bad nighttime dragonfly, not cool. We're going to go ahead and hop right over him. Let's get out of here. I do think we are kind of right next door to Drustana. We should be able to go and visit for a minute. There we go. Ankles is getting tired. Oh boy, we just attracted a lot of attention. Hop, hop, let's get out of here. Come on, ankles. Oh gosh, there's water underneath us, but we're going to risk it. Well, let's not. How about let's not? Let's jump this way instead. Oh, okay, we're okay. Everything's okay. What is that noise? What am I hearing? Bad ladybug. Wow, did that did that hit three times? Like a triple shot or something? What is going on? Another one of these trees. Maybe I could pick one of these trees as like a... If I find one pretty centralized somewhere in the map, maybe I could build on one. Wow, how big is this map? This map is huge. Oh, yeah, we were hopping around in that thing down there. Yeah, I mean, if we could find a, a center spot somewhere on one side or another, I'd be perfectly happy building someplace really cool and scenic. That would be awesome. 
Oh, wow, look at that sunrise. Hang on, we just have to sit here and watch this because, wow, look at that. Wow, I didn't even speed that up or anything. That was, that was awesome. <laughs> yeah, that was great, actually. All right, moving on. Ah, I know where we are. Oh my gosh. I, okay, I thought I knew where we were, but I was a little, I was a little off. <laughs> All right, Ankles, you're going to stay up here today. I do not want to risk losing you in this fight with the Rhino Beetle. That'll just make me feel terrible. Oh, look at these little sitting benches. Nice. Oh yeah, we were a little farther away from the base than we thought, but that should be it right there. Bonk. Oh, we landed on the branches? Oh, that was actually really cool. And there's our house. Hop two. Yeah, there we go. Awesome. Okay, now before we go fight the rhino... No, you know what? We're going to fight the rhino beetle without leveling up. If we beat the rhino beetle, we'll spend these uh, attribute points in celebration. <laughs> All right, I think we have everything we need. We're good on food. We're good on healing items. We have three, two different weapons with good durability. We're good. Everything's fine. Let's eat and get down there and fight this beetle. Everybody ready? Here we go. How cool is this? <laughs> oh, the wingsuit is awesome. Get out of here. We don't want to deal with you. And maybe we should ditch the extra company before we go and battle the beetle, huh? Might be smart. He's still after me? Why do I get the f impression that like that wouldn't fight the beetle and him wouldn't fight each other, you know? Wow, look at this guy. Oh, oh, it's on. It's uh Oh, oh my gosh. Oh my gosh, what? Okay. All right, let's try for the dodges rather than... Oh yeah, there we go. 17, 17, 9, let's try the sword. Ooh. There we go, the sword's working. Ah. There we go. I'm trying to get a counter. No, I don't know if you can counter any of that. That's pretty brutal. Oh, there we go. No, not a problem. Ooh, doing good, doing good, doing good. You gonna tackle? Go for the tackle? Nope. See, I don't know if you can counter block that, can you? You might not be able to. Ow. Ooh. I would love to counter block that. That would be awesome. Where's he running to? Come on. Yeah, the dodge seems to be working just fine there. I think we're going to stick to the dodge. Oh, he came after me with that one. Ow, all right. We got to heal again. Ooh, we had just enough healing potions for this fight, didn't we? Ooh. There we go, come on. Take him down. <laughs> there you go, Rhino. No problem. Oh. Rhino split horn. Awesome. Is that an ingredient or just a trophy that we take to Scotty? 
Also, what treasures might be hiding up here? No, that might be the spawn for the rhino beetle. <laughs> Nothing else under here? Really? Aw, what a shame. Alright, let's go get this trophy back to Scotty. We've taken care of the rhino beetle. No problems here. Okay, we made it. Scotty, I have something for you. I brought you the rhino horn. You've done it. I recognize this horn. This beetle used to wander the swamps. I don't know how it found its way out to the beach, though. <laughs> I, I kind of attacked it, but that's okay. I suggest you visit Lysandra. She might have some insight into this matter. She's an expert on creatures of the swamps. Oh, let's go to the swamps. You found a gecko treat? <gasps> I want to get a gecko. Let's go get a gecko. We just have that in our inventory right now. Where's the gecko treat? There's no gecko treat in my inventory. Hey, come here. Teach me how to craft it. Oh, cool. I was just talking to Scotty again to see what was up, because I still can't find this. I still can't find this gecko treat. I don't know what Scotty's talking about. I don't see it around here. I don't think it's in my inventory. Maybe it's uh, available for us at the crafting table now, but I think I just resummoned the rhino beetle, so we might be able to fight that again. Uh, it looks like that might be a repeatable quest. I'm going to check the map again and see if it's shown up again. It did show up again. Oh, cool. So we can go repeat that battle. That's cool. I don't know if the rhino horn will actually give us anything, but that's pretty cool. All right. Let me see if we can make a different type of treat in here now. Gecko treats. <gasps> Guys. All right. This is happening. Well, where's the swamps? Because, you know, the ant is, or not the ant, the, oh, it's not that far away. I kind of want a gecko. I feel like gecko would be much more useful in combat, but the, man, the grasshopper really just gets you where you need to go. I don't know. We might take the grasshopper out to visit Lissandra, but no, uh, no, I'm too tempted. Ankles, you stay here. We're going to go get a gecko. I want a gecko. All right. Ant head, bee head. What else do we need? Petal and seed oil. Nice. All right, gecko time. We will leave ankles here because we're gonna have a a new steed here in a minute, hopefully. All right, gecko, here we come. Oh, nice. If you just let up off of the forward momentum, he just kind of comes to a little bit of an air break. That's pretty cool. All right, easy gecko out here. There we go. I was going to try and get his attention and pull him up this way, just like we did the first time we ever ran into him. Hiya! So close. Gotcha. Oh, yeah. Come on up. Oh, boy. Here we go. I wonder if this gecko treat would have worked on any of those bigger, battered geckos that we saw out. Or, or are those going to be lizards or something? We didn't get close enough to name one, but uh, still. Oh, no, not the water bug, too. Let's just get rid of the water bug. Oh, crap. <laughs> all right, all right, all right. Here we go. Do that again. There we go. Tame. Oh, we've tamed a gecko. Join party. Party full. What do you mean? How does that work? Wow, look at that health. What? I can't ride him? Interesting. Okay, so we're just going to do battle out of here? Is that, is that what we got to do now to get you home?
Or is this because I still have the grasshopper? Okay. Yeah, it definitely said some of them won't let you ride them, but some will let you mount them. Okay, well, it looks like Gecko here is not going to let us... It doesn't even look like he's following me, though. Alright, so yeah, the grasshopper's still here. Let's go ahead and take the grasshopper down and go visit the gecko. Is the gecko still going to be tamed? Yeah, but the party is full. All right, well, let's let's go ahead and let Ankles leave then. We'll get an Ankles 5 if we really need to. I want to mess around with the gecko. Oh, you can ride it. Oh, they don't leave your party. Oh, crap. Okay. Oh, crap, crap, crap. Okay, okay. You know what? Wait here. Leave party. Yeah, we've got the cricket now. Let's mount the... Okay, we're going to take the cricket back. But then we're going to tell the cricket to leave our party. And we're going to leave the cricket back at home. Then we're going to come back and grab the gecko. Okay. Cool. So you can have multiple steeds, but you can't use more than one at a time. That's interesting. I like that, actually. Yeah, the gecko. All right, but grasshopper will be fine here. I may want to build a little, like, uh, little shed or a little spot for the cricket now. Like, give him his own little, little you know, covered area right here. All right. Wait here. Oh, crap. Whew. All right. Not a problem. Not a problem. We're good. Wait, where did he go? Where'd the grasshopper go? Ankles. I hadn't told him to leave the party yet. I just told him to wait here. What? Where's Ankles? There he is. Hey, buddy. Come here. Come here. I don't know what you just did, but we're going to park you right here. Wait here. Leave party. I guess if you tell him to leave party, they kind of wander around a little bit. All right, now let's go get our gecko friend. Right, I'm going to double check. <laughs> I'd hate to get down there and have the party be full again, have to run up. No, join party. Okay, yeah, let's go do this. I don't know how long that gecko is going to stay tamed for us, so let's try and make this quick. Gecko friend. Join party. Oh man, we're riding a gecko. All right, can they climb walls? No. <laughs> Look at that leap. Oh, do the geckos take fall damage? They might. Wow, gecko attacks quickly. Sprint's pretty good. Oh wow, much more of a battle steed. Wow, yeah, that's crazy. All right, this is a much better battle steed. Even if this thing was following us, I think it could take a hit a little better. Nice. All right, can I climb up some pretty steep inclines here? Because I'd like to try and just get right back up to the house this way. Oh, wow, look at that. Yep. Oh, yeah, wow, okay. So it may not be able to climb vertically, but it can still climb pretty good. Oh, my gosh, look at the pets. What are you doing? Wait here. Don't go anywhere. All right, let's give this gecko a name. Now we're gonna go with slippers. This is about the best I got right now. <laughs> the storm's throwing my, throwing me off. All right, let's try and get some sleep. I think we'll try and make it out to our new destination in the morning, Lissandra. And after that, we may try and set up a little bit of an outpost there. So I may try and bring some. I still don't want to build with the wood. I really want to find a good, a good more permanent base location to start building with the wood so I'll pro uh, the bark I should say so I'm probably just going to bring probably 50 of this and 50 of this out there just to get, get us something set up so that we can spend the night um, 
maybe even a little bit of stone. Yeah. All right, yeah, let me clear the inventory. I'll bring, you, I'll bring everybody back in the morning when it's time to set out. Okay, everybody, shake off them sleepies. We're going to take the grasshopper and just try and get ourselves out there. So, leave party. Stay here. Join party. How awesome. Yeah, we're going to have to build a little shelter for all of our creatures. That's really cool. And before we go, I said I'd do this after the boss fight, and I didn't. We have 36 attribute points to spend. All right, let's 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 go ahead and do it. That's a lot. Well... I don't know. Should I? <laughs> you let me know in the comments below. Should we use him? Should we use him next episode? Or should I just wait until we have about 100? Alright, looks to me like we're heading northwest. Let me check again. Yeah, we're kind of heading in the right... Yeah, a little northwest. So let's get moving. It's about what? Yeah, just turning morning. We just slept. We're good to go. Let's get a move on. Don't mind me! What are What is that out there? Oh, those are the poisonous mushrooms. Okay, cool. That is a much bigger bee than what we've been fighting. Are those hornets or something? They look like an upgraded version. I don't want anything to do with it. <laughs> oh, man. Especially not riding uh, ankles here. Whoa, look at this. This is cool. Is that a spider? Oh, <gasps> we found the spiders. Oh, ankles. All right, stay here. Ah, crap. Stupid beetles. Maybe this will be... Oh, there's a spawn spot right there, too. We need to find a safe spot just to let ankles hang out while we go and try and deal with some spiders. I really don't want to lose ankles while we're out here. Well, that spider was coming after us. Here's a good spot. Right here. Wait here, Ankles. We're gonna... We're gonna go fight a spider. Alright, let's make sure we can get back over here later. What is this? What is this poisonous to us? Or is it just water? Alright, it doesn't look like it's affecting us. I don't want to jump into the middle of it or anything, but let's go fight us a spider. This looks much more intimidating than the little fuzzy ones we were fighting. Oh man, that spider didn't get up there, did it? Ankles, you're good, right? <laughs> Okay, good. I was going to say, if I have to run all the way home, this is going to be a long run. Nice, look at this. Alright, let's see if we can get the drop on it and get a few extra shots in before we fight. Nice! Nice! That's a lot of health. Alright, definitely don't want to be fighting up here. Come on down. What kind of attack do you have? Oh, he's, it, he attacks like an ant. Wolf spiders, no problem. You you attack almost exactly like an ant. I've got this. Oh my gosh, you can tame one of these? Please tell me that that at least crawls up, you know, vertical walls. <laughs> what do we have? Insect fur, spider eye, insect fur. Okay, all that's fine. Where are your cocoons? Let's look around for a minute. Hello. Pretty quick. They're quick. Ow. Let's try the spear. There we go. No, sword for sure. Okay. Again? Oh, man. Yeah, that hurts. That poison hurts a lot. Oh, what did we get? Spider stew? Oh, we got a spider head. Interesting. Look, I don't want to deal with you... Go away, beetle. Silly Sawyer beetle. Get out of here. I want to investigate what looks like a web in here. Or is that just a spawn? Yeah, it's just a little spawn window. Okay. 
What's this? There's stone? That looks like stone. Yep. <laughs> Where are the webbing? Where's the webbing at? Follow me, ankles. We're heading into the swamp. Whew. I'm nervous. There's going to be a lot of water down here. We're going to have to be careful where we're jumping. See how shallow is all that? I don't know. Oh my gosh, look at the spiders. Spiders are everywhere. Okay, yeah, there's webs all over the place down here. Oh, the water is just deep enough in certain areas to make it hard for us to walk. That's good. All right, look at all this bark. Oh, here we go. We have some right here. We're going to get rid of this firefly. Oh, I think I'm hitting. Oh, crap. I think I was. I think. I... Oh, no. Oh, no. Ankles. We got to go. Ankles. 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 Come here. No. Get on the cricket. Okay. Yeah, nope, that, that turned into a big, bad situation. Oh, no, we're stuck. Ankles, come on, buddy. There we go. Hang in there, ankles. Wow, this is a danger zone out here. This is incredible. We need to move out here. This is going to be awesome. Hey, I see lights. We're going to make a leap right at those. Nice. Those are candles. Those are just giant candles. Interesting. Are they leading us to someone? Here we go. I think we have found safety in the swamp. I hope. Is that a human skull? What happened in this upper... Like, what happened? <laughs> Oh, look at all the can- This is crazy. Are we heading in the right direction? Yeah, it looks like we're getting there. Oh, get away! Oh my gosh, more skulls? What What happened? Is this game post-apocalyptic? Whoa. What are you doing in here? You do realize this place is crawling with spiders, right? Oh my gosh, does she have like... What? Oh yeah, all the giants disappeared. Okay, interesting. You live out here with all these spiders? Are you crazy? Hello, Lissandra. I'm looking for any dangers that might threaten our people. I was sent here by Scotty. She suggested you might have an answer to how the rhino beetle was found at the beach. Tell me more. Well, this is what happened. <laughs> oh no, she's got a similar issue. What's out here? Giant albino spider. Oh good. Oh good. Due to its strength, I fear it might upset the natural order of the swamps. Okay. All right, that'll be our next one. We shall seek it out. Can you teach us any new armors? Can you craft armor? Look at that. She used to hate that. Oh, yeah, some kind of spider type. Look at this. Silk weave. Whoa, the protection is amazing. Cold resistance, not so much, but that, that protection is awesome. Five across the board. I think that beats out everything we have. Yeah, five. Wow, that might... Yeah, that's amazing. Too many spiders out here. Are you going to be vicious? Are you vicious or are you friendly? See, you don't look friendly. I don't know, though. Maybe they're just being nice because she's nearby? I don't know. Let's get some silk. Ooh, chitin axe, chitin spear. All right, we're getting some new weapons now. That's pretty cool. More insect eggs. Cool, we will collect that too. 
All right, everybody, I guess I'm going to go ahead and let that wrap up the episode for today. That was a lot of fun. We did a lot today. We actually did a ton. I'm going to run around in here because it seems relatively safe, and the spiders don't seem super aggressive here near um, uh, near our new friend whose name keeps keeps eluding me. What is it again? Lissandra. Lissandra. Okay. Yeah, they, they seem pretty tame in here, so I'm going to run around and try and collect as much of the silk as I can without, you know, them being aggressive, if it'll let me. Um... And we're going to try and bring as much of this home as we can. So I'm just going to try and be real peaceful in here with the spiders. And just try and collect a bunch, uh, as much of this as possible. I might even set up... I don't know. Will it let us build in here? Might be worth trying to set up a bed in here just for an extra spawn point. Can I set down a foundation? No, a building's not allowed in here. Of course, this would be too safe. So literally right outside the cave, I may try and set up a, a small safe haven. Ooh, look at it in here. I feel like the farther I get away from Lissandra, the more the spiders are going to be upset with me. <laughs> I don't know. I'll find a small place to build a little uh, little house out here, but I am just going to run around and just keep collecting all of this spider silk. We really need as much of it as we can get back at the base, and maybe we'll be able to make a new weapon. I would rather the new weapons. The armor's been serving me really well, so I'm pretty happy with it. Um, but if we could make that new axe and that new spear just to get better material, to get... Uh, better damage going. That's gonna be pretty awesome. And be sure to weigh in in the comments when you want me to use my attributes. I'm not gonna. I'm gonna go ahead and just stay level one so far. Um, but you know, it, I could definitely see how it would be helpful. Um, <laughs> I don't know though. Part of me just wants to get the next level armor and see how that makes me fare out here. Cause that might, you know, be just as good. I don't know. Anyway, I'm rambling way too much. Hope everybody had fun hanging out with me today. If you did, do me a favor, smash that like button and be sure to subscribe if you want to continue the adventures in small land. I'm really excited to keep going. And if you know of any of those encampment trees more centralized in the map, maybe I'll build on one of those. But honestly, I I want to build down. I want to build down in on the ground in a really nice spot with a good view and just like lots of material around. I just I think that'd be so much fun. That's what I'm looking for. Um, so I'm going to keep my eye out. I don't know about the swamps. I think we're just going to build an outpost here. I'm really loving any, almost anywhere out here, you know, like right here in the center of everything where I can just easily hop around to wherever I need to go because this map looks awesome. And it looks like it could get bigger in the future. I mean, look at all this empty space they have to add on to. Um, I'm so excited. Anyway, hope everybody's having a great day. Have a great rest of your day. And I hope I see everybody in the next episode. <laughs> Until then, have fun in your own adventures. See you next time.